Hi guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. Today's video is actually a little bit early. I, not for you guys, but for me, because I'm videoing today, which is Friday, but my video will actually be out Saturday. But we will be going Saturday because Layton is, he's in middle school wrestling now, so it's not, he actually rides the bus or he will ride with us and we will follow the bus to every tournament but he has to be there the same time as everybody else so we have to get up and leave by 5 45 in the morning or no we have to be at school by 5 45 in the morning so we'll have to leave here about 5 30 and um yeah it's gonna be early but it's gonna be an all-day event and that's why i decided to try to Hurry up and get this video done today so that y'all can get, have a video for tomorrow. But if y'all will say a prayer for him, not that he will win because a coach once told me that you don't pray to win because the same, the person you're going up against, now this was basketball, so they were talking about teams. But the same person, say wrestling, the same person that Layton's going to be wrestling, he may be saying the same prayer. So you pray that you do your best. And that's what, that's what we always pray, that all the kids, they just give it their all and do their best. Because that's all we ever ask of them. I don't care if they lose. I don't care if they win. Of course, winning is better than losing. But if they give it their all, I don't really care. I noticed in my video yesterday that this was open, but luckily no rain got through there. I'm guessing because it's faced this way and the rain comes this way. I don't really, I don't know why I didn't, but um, yeah, so we're going to get this video started. Ooh, and in the mud. Y'all have food over there. You do. You don't have to sneak it from the other side. Hi, sis. So, something that I didn't really mention a lot about was the... We had some of these goats end up with pink eye. And um, we've treated it. And like Crybaby is doing a lot better than she was. Crybaby was one of them. Um, there was a couple others, but they're doing better. We gave them a dose of LA 200. And um, yeah, we just, I think that's actually working. But we, another thing Brandon did today, we didn't video it, but he, opened up this area right here and so he expanded and let the donkeys the new donkeys in with like the cow and um there was this mama with the newest baby i think there was a couple um actual goats in this pen i, I don't see bushwhacker right now but i think oh he's up there i'll i'll walk back up there in a minute it's like we open up the pen, so Bushwhacker goes this way, and the donkeys go this way. How you doing, baby? Taking a nap in that in that sun, sunbathing. Come here, Red. I don't know your name yet, but that's what I'm gonna call you. Come here. I'm gonna go inside there. I hung my hoodie on the fence earlier and switched into a jacket. I don't know what happened to our collar. We always had a collar there and it just kind of disappeared. Now we're still kind of watching this younger one. She's still more skittish and everything 
The red one is super friendly, and the male, the one in the middle, he's actually becoming more friendly. Air Jordan just jumped into the pen, jumped on the chicken pens and jumped in. Come here. Come here, sweet girl. Come here. Hi. You're sweet. Yes, I love your color. You just blend right in with this family, don't you? Where are you going? Well, all right, I'm not gonna chase you into the barn. I will make my way up here though and go see Bushwhacker, but I'm not going in that side because it is still super muddy. It never really got dry from the last time it rained, I guess because there's so much mud, I don't know, but it's super, super muddy again because of the rain. But there's Bushwhacker. He turns. He's getting a little bit fatter. I can see his belly starting to pooch out some. Looking a little bit better. Day by day. I just love that cookies and cream look. Beautiful. Now these two, these two right here, hopped in this pen. They wasn't supposed to. Technically, they're supposed to be in here. Because you can tell they're both pregnant. Oh, watch. She's going to want out, so she's going to jump out. She says, no, I got stage fright. <laughs> yeah, they will jump in and out no matter what. So, I'll get back over here. Brandon fed this morning. That's kind of why they're staying close to the all the feed. They pretty much got this one ate. And then I'm not going to walk over there, but they got that one ate too. We haven't moved the truck and trailer since we actually got the donkeys. The three donkeys. Because it rained. The day the next day and it was super muddy so we just kind of left it there and when it dries up a little bit because there gets ruts in the yard but we try to avoid them hi bushwhacker you didn't run away when i got close didn't even have to zoom in They're all lounging around now. Badger, do you like your new feed trough? No? Yeah, you do. That's where you stay. Hi. I'm going to go see if I can find um, the other donkeys. I think I see them up here. Yeah, they kind of scared me earlier. It was funny because both of them, they're super, super friendly. And they like, they're pets pretty much, or that's what they were. And um, they like were honking. I think that's what it's called when they make that donkey noise. But they were honking and running towards me and Brandon. Me and Brandon were just checking fence and stuff. And we was kind of like, <laughs> we don't know if they were gonna trample us or not because we don't really know them yet. And we're getting to know them a lot better. What? What, sis? What is it? She's been barking at these donkeys. I think that's what she's barking at again. She follows them up and down the line and barks at them. She's like, they're not supposed to be here. <laughs> but that's what she's trained to do though. She just has to learn that they are supposed to be here. Hi, this is the girl. 
she's bigger and then this is the boy and they stay together when one of them starts honking oh <laughs> she said no i want the lovins but um, when one of them starts honking the other one runs to its rescue and starts honking also it's pretty funny once i really get comfortable with them i'm going to actually try to brush him out um she's not so bad but he's pretty rough looking like it looks like he needs a shave but it's becoming winter so you don't do that during winter you want them to have that second coat of hair and so i don't know i don't know what the deal is he just looks a little raggy here are some of them i don't even know why oh i think these two were out because they were boys and then those ones were kind of newer ones they might have just got out and then we just left them i've been leaving this gate open instead of locking it even though there's nothing in it so that they can get water they have water up towards the house but when they're over on this side they don't have to travel as much Huh? Alrighty. Oh, see. Carly is barking at the donkeys. They towed Carly off. Uh oh. Let's see if Badger wants to make a friend. We've been keeping a close eye on Badger because Badger likes to <laughs> pester. He's kind of like a teenager. And he likes to pester them quite often. Which meaning like, obviously y'all have seen him with Romeo. Um, he pesters the pigs. He kind of pesters the goats and he, he's just really wanting to play, but he's got to realize he's smaller than these donkeys here. Uh -oh. oh, there's Oscar and Jerry. Hi guys. Y'all became really good friends, huh? Oh, Jerry's hiding. I love the blue in their face. Even like Oscar's like purple and blue. It's just so beautiful. Come here. Come here. <laughs> you can tell they're different turkeys just by their beaks and stuff though. Like he's got that long nose looking thing. I don't know what it's called. Y'all are growing, growing, growing. Yes, you are. You want my toes, don't you? <laughs> I'm king of the castle. I love these animals. Even if they are rotten. Rotten in a good way. I can go down here and check the rest. Oh, they found the feed. Now, we've had a few people say um, donkeys are not supposed to eat grain. Well, it's not that they're not supposed to. They can eat grain, but you have to watch them because they will eat so much of it. You just have to make sure you, they have a limit to it every day. Like, the reason they are out right now is, I should have started with that earlier, I guess. But um, the reason they're out right now is because 
it when it rained yesterday morning i let them out because they were in that little canal thing and there was no shelter and it wasn't a storm or nothing it was just rain but i wanted them to get to some trees or i mean whatever and be able to not get as wet as just sitting like sitting ducks right there in the where there's no shelter so that's the actual reason that they are out and we figured the only bad thing about them being out would be them fighting with badger but so far they've been doing really good um we've been keeping an eye on them. i think the only one that doesn't really like them is carly but that's something that carly knows that they're not supposed to be there so anyways that was what i should have said at the beginning and i completely sometimes i don't remember if i told y'all stuff or if i did and so i don't know i forgot there was one more thing that i actually wanted to show y'all um we've mentioned about there being a hole in the wall um for the goat to get into the shelter into the barn but I forgot I haven't shown it so I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about all right it's super muddy right here so I'm trying to stay as close to the gate as I can what are y'all doing y'all following me are y'all following me huh <laughs> I know you're a little bit more skittish than she is but all right <laughs> so it's in here in the barn Oh, there's already some goats in here. But the chickens still kind of lay in here. But this is what we've done. So the animals on the outside can actually get inside the barn. And the ones in the actual, what's it called? I guess the donkey pen now. But the mama pen can actually go here. We didn't take down the T-post yet um we just we don't know if we're going to actually put that fence back up make it because whenever goats do have trouble kind of like pennywise and stuff and we have to kind of help the babies feed on mom that's why we had that up but um i guess while i'm in here i'll go ahead and show y'all the donkeys again see if the red one will come up to me. See if any of them will come up to me. Oh, well, maybe the male. You're all right. Good girl. Good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. That's good girl. Yeah, that's good boy. <laughs> Trying to nip at me. I don't have no snacks. I don't have no snacks right now. I will get y'all some snacks though. How about that? We'll get y'all some snacks. It's almost time for the kiddos to get home though. Yeah. Come on. You see me petting them. I know you want pet. Come here. All right. It takes time. It does. It takes time. Brandon's been working with them. And she, I think, ate a treat. <laughs> you are doing so good. Oh, I just love your color. You usually don't see like a dark red animal. You going to follow me? You going to follow me? Good boy. <laughs> good girl. Hi, you like the head rubs. You do. Good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. We got to come up with some names. I was thinking maybe I'd name you Brock. But I don't know yet. 
I just don't know. What about you over here? I might call you red. Red on the head. That's what I got called. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alright, anyways, I would spend my days with them all the time. But I'm not going to because I got other things I got. I got other priorities. And so I'm going to sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and subscribe. God bless.